Welcome to the video demonstration of Quick Chord 3. This demonstration is intended to show off the major features of Quick Chord. However, there are many features that will not be shown in the video which are available in the user manual. When you open Quick Chord, you will see a basic editor window, and beneath that is the favorites window. Creating a chord diagram is simple as just clicking on the fretboard to indicate fingering to place the dots. Pressing the clear button will erase anything that is in the current editor window. While editing chords, it's important to remember that there is only one dot per string. So if you need to move a dot, you can simply click on another string and it will move the dot to that position. Also, clicking an existing dot will remove it from the chord. The X's at the top of the diagram indicate these are muted notes. If you want to make it an open note, just click it. O indicates an open string that is played when open, and you'll see the notes show below it. Clicking it again will once again return it to an X, indicating that string is not played in the chord. Adding a bar line is a matter of just clicking on the first dot and dragging it over to the second dot, dropping a bar line. You can have two bar lines per diagram. You can remove bar lines by clicking the No Bar button on the left hand side. You'll notice as dots are placed on the diagram, Quick Chord automatically calculates the chord name at the top. This chord name can be changed by clicking on it and then substituting it with your own text. In this case, we'll call this a B major chord. Likewise, you'll notice that beneath the diagram, Quick Chord also places the notes that are being placed. These can also be changed by clicking on it. Many users prefer to use fingering numbers down here, so we'll replace these with numbers. To the left of the diagram is a number indicating the top fret. The number 1 indicates this is the first fret of the diagram. For positions further up the neck, use the up and down arrows to move the top fret position. Notice that the chord name does not change as we have overridden it with a custom chord name. So let's clear this and we'll just start with a basic chord, a B minor chord. As this chord diagram is moved, you'll notice that the notes and the automatically generated chord name move. This is now a D minor chord as this is the fourth fret, this would be the fifth fret. Once you have built chords that you want to keep, you can add them to the favorites area so you can work with multiple chords. You'll notice that there is an arrow pointing down into the favorites area when you're in the editor. Clicking this arrow will simply move the chord into the favorites area. Let's build a couple other chords. You'll notice when you clear the chords, everything goes back to the default blank diagram at top fret 1. Let's add a C major chord and a D minor chord. Each time we're done with the chord, we click on the arrow going into the favorites box to add it. If you click on the names inside the favorites list, you'll notice that the arrow changes, pointing up to the editor window, indicating that you can move this chord back up into the current editor. Selecting the C major chord and clicking it returns it back to the editor. You can also delete chords from the favorites area by selecting it and clicking the trash can icon. You'll be presented with a dialog asking you if you're sure you want to delete this. You can also check the box that you, this never is confirmed again. Yes, I want to delete this. You can also delete multiple items by clicking the first one, holding down the shift key, and clicking the bottom. I want to delete all the items.